Hey guys, and welcome to Petrol Ped, and welcome to this week's Midweek 180. Well, as you can see, I am at home again today, but I've got a pretty busy week this week. I've got two cars to review and a two-day studio shoot, but I've been having fun today. But um, I've always got time to film a Midweek 180. Anyway, if you've not seen one of these before, this is my Midweek update, where I bring you my news, views, and information about upcoming reviews, all filmed in one take. I'm gonna put 180 seconds in the bottom left-hand corner of your screen, and that's it, a very simple format. So, without further ado, let's get cracking with this week's Midweek 180. I shall start my timer. Okay, leader of the pack last week was Ben Higginson. Congratulations, sir. Joined in the Famous Five by Andrew Lord, Andrew Collier, Tivani Rudy, and Kev Young. So whoever puts the first comment this week, you will be my leader of the pack next week. And the first five comments, you will be in my Famous Five. Now then, where are you and what you're doing? That was Marco J, who was in the Baltics on a 7,500 kilometer road trip in his JCW Clubman. Winning. <laughs> I wish I was with you, my friend. But wherever you are right now, and whatever you're doing, put it in the comments below, and I'll give you a shout out next week. Now, last week's question was whether you had auto high beam on your car, and what did you think of it? I think on the whole, those people who had it liked it. If there was a grumble, sometimes it wasn't. It didn't quite react quick enough, um, and you just kind of reverted to, I don't know, moving the stalk and turning the lights on and off yourself. Um, this week's question, I want to know if you've done something recently for the first time in a long time. I played golf today for the first time in about two years because I've had a problem with the finger on this hand and it's meant I wasn't able to hold the golf club properly but it's gone now my fingers are all good and I had a game of golf today and I absolutely loved it I'd love to know if you've had the same kind of experience recently Formula One who watched the Grand Prix <laughs> I hope you watched the last three or four laps because it was pretty boring up until then and then it all kicked off in a big way Bottas getting a puncture, Verstappen coming in for fresh tyres, I bet he wish he hadn't done that, and then literally on the last lap, Lewis Hamilton getting a puncture. I've never seen a Formula One car driven so fast with only three wheels. Amazing race. And Lando Norris, yet again, what a hero. I, I predict big things for him in the future. But new car news this week is this. This is the Gordon Murray Automotive T50, or the GTM T50. Um, it is his new, if you like, rethinking of the, what was the McLaren F1. It's a three seat format car, thrown all the latest technology you can. It's got some amazing things. It has a V12 Cosworth engine that's gonna rev to 12,100 RPM, which is nuts. Uh, highly lightweight construction. The monocoque and all the body panels combined weigh less than 150 kilos. The wet curb weight is only 987 kilos. It's gonna be absolutely amazing. The engine though, the engine can rev um, Two, uh, 28 and a half thousand RPM per second. So it can do the rev limiter in 0.3 of a second. I found that fascinating. And it has a six speed manual gearbox as well. Absolutely incredible. They're only gonna make a hundred and sadly they're gonna be over two million pounds. So I'm not gonna be able to get one. Uh, this week's vintage voltage tomorrow evening at 9, uh, 9 p.m. on Quest is a Ferrari 308 and I drove it and it was absolutely stunning. Has a Tesla drivetrain in it, 250 horsepower Ferrari 308. What's not to like about that? And then this Friday at six, more electric action actually. I'm going to drive the new Kia Soul EV. It's brilliant. That's all I need to say. It, the looks may divide opinion, but it's a brilliant car. Really is. So, more diversity to the channel. I always want to try and bring you a mix. You know, recently I've driven V8 supercharged cars and ridiculously loud things and 500 horsepower Ford Focuses. And yes, this week it's an electric car. But I actually think it's one of the best electric cars I've yet driven. Um, it's on the same base platform uh, as the Kia e Nero that I drove to Hamburg on Vintage Voltage. A very, very good car. Um, but yes, anyway, I am waffling. Um, so make sure you tune into Vintage Voltage Thursday because I think for me, uh, the Ferrari we did was one of the halo cars of the series. Absolutely incredible thing. And as I said, I have driven it and it was sensational. Um, so yeah, anyway, I'll see you on the next film, guys, which is this Friday at 6 p.m. for the Kia Soul EV. Don't be put off by the fact it's an electric car because it's it's a really, really good one. Anyway, I'll see you on that film, guys. You take care. Drive safe.